Uh, this one's tricky. I don't know how I'm going to answer it yet. I'm going to have to speculate. Matthew Stafford or Jared Goff? See, yeah, you playing? Why are you playing with me like that, Robbie? You playing I, with my most? I'm, you know, I'm a, playing. That, I'm playing brain chess, bro. Just really, chess. really. This is tough, tough. This I'm going to go with Matthew Stafford. And the reason why I'm going with Matthew Stafford is Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery, to me, is the heartbeat of this team. Even though Amara St. Brown, to me, is one of the top players on this team. Probably the best player on the team. Ah, it's close. Jameer Gibbs is very talented, but I would say Amara. But to me, what the head coach for the Detroit Lions, what do you want to do? I think he wants to establish the run game. To me, with the Los Angeles Rams, I think they want to just beat you. And I think that's they're going to pass the ball a little bit more than the Detroit Lions. Kyle Williams can catch, will get tar, will be getting value, and also uh, Blake Quorum. But I believe that Puka Nakua and Cooper Cup would get more targets than Amara and Jamison Williams and, La and LaPorta. Um, so I'm, a, I'm going with the pass heavy offense. If you go back and look at Matthew Stafford, Passing attempts per game, I think he was number one uh, per game because he got hurt. So per game, I think Matthew Stafford was number one. Uh, I agree with you, bro. So I think the running game on the lines is better. The running back two is established, and he could be a running back one on another team. David right. Montgomery was a running back one. You're going to have a healthy Cooper Cup. You're going to have a further developing Puka Nakua. Right. You'll have Kyron, and then you have Matthew Stafford. In my opinion, in the last, like, 10-plus, 15 years of NFL football, he's probably the most underrated quarterback in the game. Right. This guy is – he's a dog, man. Like, he is a beast, and he can beat you the same way over and over and over again, and he's proven it. He was on the Lions with uh, Calvin Johnson. They set records together. If he was on a different team, uh, maybe a more established defense, a better offense all around him, bro, I wouldn't be surprised if he has three or four Super Bowl rings. He's got one. Right. And he's going to want to win another one. And right. if this team's healthy with an underrated defense and the great coaching schemes that they already have, they'll be in line to be an NFC title threat. They're they're. They're Come a on, more Super Bowl threat, for sure. Right. And don't be – so I'm going to say two things. Don't be surprised if you see Detroit and the Los Angeles Rams playing for the NFC Championship. Secondly, um, I believe that uh, one of the best trades that ever happened in the history of the NFL game was Matthew Stafford and Jared Goff. Jared Goff wasn't the type of quarterback that Matthew Stafford is – so he needed to be in a run predominantly tough team. And I believe Matthew Stafford needed to be released. He didn't, he didn't need to play in control. He needed a great offensive coordinator like Sean McVay to take his game to the next level. And I thought it was both. It was great for both teams and great for both quarterbacks. So um, both of these guys are great. I don't think you can go wrong, but me, I'm going with the guys who are going to have more passing attempts in this tomato-tomato question. I want to see Stafford on the Lions now, <laughs> like with all with all those weapons. Like right. he would he would dice people up. So right, but yeah, man, he uh, he's a great match with McVay's system, and I wouldn't be surprised if they go to the NFC title game this year. Not at right. all, not at all. That's that was a tricky one, man. Yeah, that was a great one. That was a great one.